Bring We're live. Hey, everybody. It's Chris from Tipton and Hearst. Sorry about that. I was trying to clean my desk, clean my table, which gets kind of messy sometimes. So, no, I would never <laughs> guess that. <laughs> well, my backup help doesn't clean me up all the time. Uh -huh. So, anyway. So, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to take this same container, a little bit different color, but the same concept. It's a bunny vase. And we're gonna make it four different ways, or we're gonna to try to make, manipulate it four different ways. So the first one, we're actually just gonna do a monochromatic, bio-monochromatic. I mean, it's all gonna be the same flower. It's gonna be this beautiful purple hyson with a little bit of dianthus, and we're gonna use two sweet little butterflies. Anyway, then the next one- Is that one, the sound that butterflies make? Exactly. Okay. So the next one we're going to do... It's going to be an interesting day. It's going to be a long day. Anyway, the next we're going to do is going to be for Cynthia, some really pretty peach tulips. That's just the color so clear on that. And then a little bit of ivy, three pieces of Holland Viburnum. It's time for Viburnum. It's time for Viburnum, one of my favorites. And then some pink hyson and some daffodils or jonquils, or buttercups, or whatever you want to call it. Then the next one's going to be just a beautiful, whimsical, not whimsical, more airy, mixed, gardeny, lots of little fillers, very dainty, fresh. And then the last one, we're going to make a topiary out of Gerber daisies and carnations. So, let's get started. Let's do the easiest one first. Let's do it. Oh, you're let's... going to cut the butterfly. Nope. And it then, won't make that sound anymore if you make it, let it die. Womp, womp, womp. Is that what that sound it'll make or cut it? Oh, everyone's saying they don't sound. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Am I blinking? I'm blinking. I'm blinking. Can they not hear me yet? I don't know. Can y'all hear us now? Can you hear us now? We sure hope so. Oh, Miss Alice has sound, so proceed. So, so proceed. Miss Alice has it, we're all good. So we're just gonna fill this base with all the same flower, making it a bio-monochromatic, meaning bio means same flower, and chromatic, bio-monochromatic, mono means, monochromatic means all the same color or color value. So this is, Simple, easy, easy, but it makes a pretty good impact, I think, to always do model biomarker chromatics. You know, this is a Martha Stewart kind of vibe, too. She loves biomarker chromatics. Perfect. Perfect. So, what we've gone back, we've cut above the white hard part of the hyson. I'm going to take any of this extra foliage because the foliage on the hyson actually turns faster. Than the balloon. When you unclicked your mic, did you do something to it? Because now they can't hear you once you moved it. Did you keep it blinking? It's still blinking. There's the blink. Okay. So still can't hear me? Are we back? Yeah. People say they can hear us, so go for okay. it. Okay. Sorry about that. So. We've done that. We cut the hyson off. We cut the hard part of the hyson off. See that white part? That's the part you want to cut off because it doesn't take as well. And now we're just going to make a simple collar with a few pieces of this green dianthus. Miss Kathy said the, the smell must be amazing. It is pretty amazing. It is. It smells so it good. It smells like spring down here. So we were busy this weekend. We were. We were jamming and slamming so anyway we were from one end of the county to the next and then we even yesterday <laughs> yesterday <laughs> this is supposed to have been the slow weekend wasn't it yeah exactly you know people say like no days off and work out you know when you work out we yeah. got no days off yeah. right here this weekend yeah exactly but we had some very happy customers yeah that's what matters yeah we did so then we're going to add just a few butterflies. And that'll just kind of gives it just a little bit of whimsical look to the top. So there's one. So there's How the first cute. One. Okay, so there's one of four. There's one. So let's make the traditional one next. 
So it's got Gerber daisies. I'll repeat that again since no one can hear me. Two sweet, unique roses. Actually, we're going to work with a couple daisies, which we hardly ever, ever work with fresh daisies, do we? Nope. Can't say that tomorrow. Okay. Yep, yep. And then we've got some Nova Belgi. And then we've got stock in pink. It's a soft, soft, soft pink. We'll Miss Gigi it. said this is going to be her favorite. This is going to be her favorite. Well, good. Then a couple, two, three spray roses. That'll complement these. Ooh, pretty. You know, I always love to mix the sprays with the large ones. A little bit of wax flower. And then a little bit of green pit to start it out with. So let's get started on this one. So I have a few people asking, have they missed the update on the t-shirt? You know what? I emailed her again today and said, we have lots of questions about the t-shirt. Can you give me an update? I, Ms. Shannon has not emailed me back yet. So I promise by Wednesday we will have some kind of update. We should already have a proof. So stay tuned. Why are you acting like that? We might have to go make a visit, sounds like. I think know. we will. <laughs> we'll be by Community Bakery. We can get a cookie. It'll knock, be great. Knock on her door. Uh -huh. So let's get started with this. And let's start out with our stock. And so, I wanted to mention about everyone should have their common sold items by now. And if there's any problem at all, just call us and we're going to fix it. We've Please just, do. You know, somebody uh, just called and said, said, oh, their spinach dip busted. Yeah. Yeah. You please call us and let us know. We want to fix it. We don't want you to have something that you can't use exactly. or that you didn't want. Which I don't know that a spinach covered chocolate egg is really the rage right now. I, you don't think so? I don't think so either. I don't <laughs> Salty think Miss Shelley would and like that. Sweet. Exactly. <laughs> that so, might be the definition of salty and salty sweet. Salty and sweet and crunchy. <laughs> So, anyway, oh, we're going to... Oh, my mom said that she might be gone for spring break. Okay, well, that could be. That could be it. But we want our t-shirts. Yeah, we want our t-shirts. <laughs> but what does that mean to me? Yeah, so. what does that mean to me? <laughs> we have lots of people on today from all over Middle Tennessee. Oh, fun. Ireland, Texas, Alabama. Well, awesome. Well, today is simple, easy, just... I thought we would just kind of do some things that are more obtainable and affordable. So what's that white stuff you just put in there? Novi Belgi. It's okay. a type of aster. Miss Linda said white Monte Casino. White Monte Casino. I call it Novi Belgi. It's, okay. It's, it's in the aster family. So say one more time what you call it. We'll call it Monte Casino. No, no. They want to know what you called it. Novi Belgi is actually a bigger form. Okay. She's right. I'm wrong. Okay. So Miss Sue Casino. said, let's thank the Lord for these beautiful flowers. Heaven will be awesome. And for this weather, it feels so nice outside today. Oh, it's amazing. Yes, so, so nice. It was an amazing day yesterday, too. It was. Beautiful yesterday. Yeah, it was. There's a couple there. So we have a few people saying they love the picture of me with the tulips. Thank you so much. Oh. That, that's nice of you. It was a great picture. Miss Sandra said she has not gotten her comments sold yet. So, Miss Sandra, we will check on you. Hey, Haley, can you check on Miss Sandra Clark? Let's write her down. We'll check on you, Miss Sandra. So here's the trick to working with daisies. <laughs> Miss Gigi said, well, maybe you could justify the chocolate by adding the spinach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that Miss Shelley wants that. <laughs> so here's the deal when you work with daisies, which daisies sometimes to me get kind of clumpy is why I don't use them so much. But what you can do, mm, I could repurpose this too while I'm thinking about it. So you can pop this one out, and that'll leave you this, which will make it look more airy. If so I, I was to do, do what that. you just did, I would have sliced my finger again yeah, like I did Yeah, you did outside. the other day. But. I did. That's so why I cannot use a knife, y'all. So that kind of breaks this up. Just look, These really aren't that bad, believe it or not. So maybe it's you'll start using them more? Um, actually, there's a shortage of them. Oh, it's really? It's the craziest part is everything, the, all of what I call the domestic flowers are all in high demand because, unfortunately, all the farms in South America are still dealing with a lot of COVID. Mm. Like they have no one to go out and do the crops. And so there's going to wow. be, a, believe it or not, there's going to be a big shortage of flowers they're forecasting for I Easter. Know. Ms. Frida said... We don't have all of our flowers for the weddings this weekend. Yeah. We're, we're so we have family it. from New Zealand, Florida, San Diego, Texas, awesome. 
Georgia. We're cool. Um, Canada. Hey, Miss Sandra, we just looked and it says that it was delivered one hour ago. So maybe check your porch and see if it's there. Let me know if it's not. Yeah. Um, we have Oklahoma City, North Carolina, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Denver. Oh, Miss Sharon said in Denver they have four inches of snow. Oh, my goodness. Gee. Somebody has a birthday today, too, don't they? Miss Sue Beth has Sue a birthday Beth today. That's right. Actually, there's a couple other people who have birthdays. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Sue Beth's daughter has a birthday today, oh, too. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Sue Beth's daughter called us last week and wanted to make sure we gave her a shout out. So, well, shout it out. It's your birthday. Everyone's saying they love the daisies. Oh, good. Miss Beverly said she's catching us live. Yay. Well, awesome. Miss Carla from Cool. Cool. That's such an old word. Oops. I'm sorry. I don't have a good catch word anymore. Uh, awesome. Miss Christy said that she doesn't use a knife either. She uses clippers. Well, if y'all can see, you can probably not see on my finger, <sighs> but I took a chunk out of my finger setting up a wedding on Saturday. And trust me, we all heard about it. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't tell you anything else again. Stop the bus. Anyway, so let's go back now. We're actually going to use foam in this one. So this is empty right here. This is a mm, probably about a quarter of a block of foam. So we know it's going to be like that. But if you want to put it in that way, let me show you a trick. So we're going to do it just like this. Then we're going to take this and we're going to cut it like that. And that way we can build it up from the bottom. Yep. And crisscross it like that. So you want your foam to be just barely below the lip. Just like that. Okay. Then you would fill this up with water in all these holes right here. So. Grab this. So y'all just tuning on. Here's number one. Number two, he's working on three. Three, that's right. Oop, let me grab some more wire. Oops. So I'll always wire these. Oh, you know what? They want to see a picture of the herb bouquet, and I forgot to do that. I have it on my phone, so I'll send it to you. Jessica, I mean, Jennifer did a great job on it. Yes, she did. It was, and the bride loved it. It had all the herbs in it and some um, she, baby's breath in she it. She probably kept it to cook with it. She might have. You know, That's she's right. a chef. That's right. So there's that. So I'm simply wiring that. So when you wire the Gerber daisies, for those that do wire, I always just put my finger right in there and I insert it. And so I go up until I feel it and then I pull it down just a little bit. Y'all, our sound is probably going in and out a little bit. Everyone and their mother is calling me. So, so sorry. Really? Yeah, and two of them are all, happy family members. All good? Well, I hope so. Oh, did you see where the um, Melissa Evans brought her daughter to the happy yesterday? I did. I saw Isn't that, that on sweet? Facebook. That yeah. was. Yeah. So someone's wondering how much this vase is. It's $7. $7. Woo $7. $7. Make you holla. So I'm actually going to wrap this. Didn't even tape it. Just going to wrap it. I'm going to tie this off here, like that. I'm going to take my scissors. So why are you using Oasis this time? Because I'm going to make this extend up into a toeberry form, and the mouth's a little bit big to be, this is so, e this is so easy, guys, so hard to insert that there. Miss Yolanda is on from San Diego. I haven't seen Miss Yolanda on in quite a while. We're glad to have you back. Like As all these people keep calling, so it like breaks it up. So hopefully you can hear now. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to add just a little bit of collar of greenery around the edge. A few people are saying this is the ribbon that they bought on Common Sense. It is. Exactly. <gasps> Miss Sherry's 54th birthday's today. Oh, awesome. 
I got a few years on them. Y'all both have a few years on me. Mm, but, uh, mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. So someone's asking how they can purchase this rabbit vase. If you call us, 501 666 3333, we can take care of it that way. Or if you message us on Facebook, we'll take care of you that way as well. That's right. So now I'm going to make just a really simple, what I call a um, shoestring, or I even like to call it debutante bow. It has one little center there, and it has just one loop on each side. So it basically looks like your shoestring when you tie it. So we have a first time live happy family member. Miss Chrissy is watching from Bryant. She oh, said awesome. she always catches us late, but today she gets to catch us live. Oh, good. She said she loves the arrangements, Mr. Chris. Oh, good. You can always make this bigger too, more round, rounded to it if you wanted. Oh, that's so pretty. That's Yale Spring. I love that. Miss Yolanda said, thank you. She said she's in school now. She's getting her master's in psychology. She said, pray for me. You will do it great. You can do it. But I had noticed that she hadn't been on here recently. And now we're just going to make a simple collar out of carnations. And that'll pull the collar out of the bottom of the vase, his little cheeks, to there. Plus, it covers the mechanics of them. You know, carnations about being more of a funeral flower. We love to use them at Tipton and Hearst for just a pop of color down low. Miss Sylvia said Australia make a great topiary as they, well. They do. They're 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 formed perfectly for that because they all are on one stem, and then they lateral out, and they just kind of bunch them together. So we have a few people asking, when is the next comet sold? I was thinking about that yesterday. Well, what were you thinking? Probably You're going to spring it on me? It's going to be this Thursday? <laughs> no, but maybe next Thursday. Oh, maybe next no, Thursday? No, probably not next. We need to wait after Easter. After don't we? Easter, yeah. Yeah, and do spring. We could do that. Yeah. Maybe the week after Easter, the 10th? Yeah. Because that next week. The next I'm gone. week is like. Yeah. And then the next week is a zoo around here. We have six weddings. Yeah. A zoo. A zoo. Which zoo animal would you like to be? Yeah. A few people are asking about the stem silk cutters. They're not in yet. They said May they'll be back in. Um, is but it we'll May? let you know. Or that was longer than that. I think it was May. I think it was 60 days. 60 to 90 days, which now means 90 to 120 with the way that people are shipping. Oh, we Just don't saying. know. We don't we'll know. let you know. So last but not least, we're gonna use we're gonna do more color blocking. So we're gonna use hysons, some jonquils or tulip or daffodils, buttercups, whatever you want to call it, three stems of viburnum, just a smidge of forsythia, tulips, hysons, viburnum. Didn't know what that was. No, I didn't either. Okay, we have D D2, I think maybe is how you spell it, or say it, from Fiji. I don't oh know if goodness. we've had someone watching from Fiji before. We have. Okay, well, maybe not live that I've read it, yeah. but welcome. We're so happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, awesome. So let's do this one. So let's take these two. And we're actually going to take this. And I'm going to wrap it just like that. And I want to take just one piece of wire. I'm going to catch it right here. Miss Barbara said, do a blue and white comment sold. Well, you know, we ordered some more stuff. We do have blue and white coming. Well, that's going to be on the Mother's Day comment sold. We bought some stuff just for that. Miss Sharon said she received her pink and green glass bunnies. She said they're so cute. Oh, good. We've actually just gotten some more of those in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start building it out. So today I'm not, like that one's all kind of a garden mix. This one's going to be more blocking. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep all of our product in groups. So how much is a rabbit base again? $7. $7. We're just going to use three of those. And Shahid is watching from Pakistan. Oh, fun. And I'm going to put three here. Rhode Island, North Georgia. 
central Indiana. Great. We are happy to have we all of y'all on today. On, exactly. So without the bunny, are these still considered spring arrangements? The Easter ver uh, versus spring, what's the difference? They're all spring. They're all spring. spring. Just an Easter twist yeah. with the bunny. And really, that one's just kind of a year-round look. But the hyson, anything that's a bulb that's not always plentiful, we consider that in our spring collection. And then we go back and add some traditional everyday flowers into it. We have family from Cape Cod, Napa, California, Perfect. Fayetteville, Georgia, Panama City Beach. Ooh, I bet it's busy down there mm. right now. They're all shutting it down. And I'm just going to block a few tulips here. Miss Donna's watching from South Georgia. Awesome. Miss Jean from Mississippi. We have lots of family on today. Well, great. So there's five tulips. I'm gonna, and what I'll do is when I finish, I'm going to spin the whole thing around so the arrangement focuses at the base right above the um, bunny, right? So how do you keep the daffodils from drooping? The daffodils don't droop near as much as controlling the tulip, which really can't control the tulip. So I really don't ever have a problem with the, with the jonquil unless it's just perished, you know? We got a little river flowing right here. Oh, okay. It'll dry. Right. Ms. Jean says she'll be celebrating her 81st birthday on Wednesday. Oh, awesome. So here's the trick on the viburnum. It's just like a hydrangea in the fact that you want to do a really, really long cut, meaning you want to cut it as, get as much of that stem exposed as possible. Miss Leanne said they're putting a curfew in Miami. Yep, they are. Miss Joyce says she really enjoys your happy. It has helped her over the year. Oh, good. She said her daughter has promised her a trip. <laughs> we had somebody else say they were coming to see us. Oh, we had someone's granddaughter in the store Saturday. Did you see that? We did. Wait. Yeah, they were in the store. Did and I talk? I don't know. I, I think you were gone doing something. Hmm, I wonder where I was. Um, they came in, and the gran and so the mo the grandmother commented thanking us for being there. And that she, as soon as her husband gets well, he fell off the house or something. Oh, no. So he's still recovering. As soon as they get well, he's going to, they're going to make a road trip too. So Miss Stella wants two of these vases in pink. I got you, Miss Stella. Perfect. <laughs> Miss Karen said, put a penny. The tulips like to get paid. Yeah, there you go. So Miss Lynn said number four is her favorite. Which one is y'all's favorite? So we have one, two, with Christmas picks in the back. Three. Christmas picks in the back? Right over there, there's Christmas picks. They got in the camera. Oh. Oopsie. I thought you had Christmas picks in their range. Yeah, you do. Do you not see them? I'm talking about in the base. I know. Do you not see them right there? No, they're not in the base. <laughs> Look, you're looking around to make sure. Hey, with me, you never know. Whatever's on the table gets put in, you know? So, anyway. With Heather said three, two. So one, two. Number four. Number three. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, elbow again. So. Lots of people are saying two. Two. One. I like one. Because I love I hyacinth. Yeah. Just, I like things real simple. So believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe. I, I don't believe that. I do. Try again I another promise, day. I promise. But I want to show something today that's very economical, very easy to mass produce, very, you know, just simple and fun. Anybody, I feel like anybody wants to do it, can do it. So. Oh, awesome. Four is my favorite. St. Peter said two and four. Two and four. Two, four. Four, two. Anyway. That's all we got today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We thought we'd do something fun and simple today. 
So we will be back on Wednesday. Thanks for being with us. Y'all have a safe and blessed night. We'll see you. Bye.